Okay, before we get started, I'm going to leave this game compatibility list page in the description below so you guys can come here and see which games are playable and which games aren't playable. Now the most important thing you're going to need to get Ryu Jinx up and running is the prod key. Without the prod key, the emulator will not run. So I'm going to leave the link to this page and you're going to see prod.key a yuzu a switch emulator now it says yuzu but this prod key also works for ryu jinx go ahead and hit download and then it's going to bring you to this page go ahead and hit download now i saved the product key file to my desktop you guys can save it wherever you like now it's going to come as a file that needs to be extracted i use 7-zip to extract my files if you need to download 7-zip i will leave a link to 7-zip in the description below once you have it downloaded all you need to do is right click on the product key go to 7-zip and extract here and it's going to give you a dev key a thank you from the website a product key and a title key and really the only key we need to get Ryu Jinx up and running is the product key. Now we're gonna download the emulator. The link to this page is also in the description below. Once you're here, you're gonna see download for Windows or Linux. I'm on Windows, so I'm gonna select Windows. I have saved the downloaded Ryu Jinx file to my desktop. You guys can save it wherever you like. Now we need to extract this file as well. So once again, we're gonna right click on the file, go to 7-zip and extract here. Now it gave us this folder right here. Let's go ahead and open it. And you will find your emulator right here. Let's open it. You will see this screen pop up first, and then you're gonna see this screen. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is add our prod key to the emulator. Let's go up to file, open Ryu Jinx folder, system, and in here, you're already going to see a prod key file. You want to delete this prod key. And we're going to add the prod key that we downloaded to this folder instead. Exit out. So you want to head over to this page here. And you scroll down and you'll see firmware 14.1.2. It's going to be the second one, not the first one. And you want to come over to download under archive. Now we are not going to extract that firmware file back over on the emulator. You want to go up to tools, install firmware and install a firmware from XCI or zip. Locate that firmware file, which I have it right on my desktop. There it is and open install firmware 14.1.2. Do you want to continue? Yes. Installed. We're good. Okay. Now let's set up our controller. Let's go up to options, settings, and go over to input. Now before we set it up, also make sure that enable dock mode is checked. It should be highlighted green. Let's go under player one, configure. Now by default, it's gonna be set up to use your keyboard. We're gonna change this because I'm using an Xbox One controller, and there it is, Xbox One S controller. Also, by default, the controller type is going to be on Joy-Con pair. We're going to change this to Pro Controller. Now, to map your buttons out, all you want to do is click on the button you're ready to map. So, let's start with the A button. So, you just click on Unbound right next to the A and then hit whatever button on your controller. You want to be the A button for B, whatever button you want to be B. And just repeat the same thing for the directional pad, the left stick, your triggers, and your right stick. And once you're finished setting up your controller, just come down and hit save. And if you have a second controller, just repeat the same thing you did for player one with that second controller. Now moving over to system, we're gonna leave everything here on the default settings. Let's move over to graphics. Now under the graphics back end, by default it's gonna be on OpenGL. We're gonna change this to Vulkan for better CPU performance. And under resolution scale, now I only have a 1080p monitor, but if you have a 4K monitor, you can actually bump this emulator up to 4K. It's your choice. Apply and save. Now let's add our games to the emulator. Let's go back up to options, settings, and under game directories, you want to hit add. Locate wherever you keep your Switch games. In my case, I have mine on an external hard drive. Locate that folder and then hit add. And it should pop up 
under your game directories. Go ahead and click it and apply. And there we are. We have our games added to the emulator. Now, if you have any game update files or DLC for a particular game, all you want to do is highlight that game, right click, and it gives you the option to manage title updates or manage DLC. So let's say we had an update for Super Mario Maker 2. You will select manage title updates and then you will go to add and you will search for that update on your computer and then you would just hit add. In my case, I don't have any updates for any games, but that's how you would do it. Now let's go ahead and load up a game and I'm gonna select Crash Team Racing. Now, if you would like to go full screen, all you need to do is go up to options, enter full screen. 